In the 9th century, the Vikings came to Grimsby. Today, a new ship docks in the ports here and it's Swindon Town's HMS Piss the League. With two wins in the last two, it's full steam ahead for Scott Lindsay's men, but will we sink or swim today? Let's go. So we're inside Blundell Park, home of Grimsby Town. It's yeah, quite nice. I mean, obviously it's got roofs on all four stands, which isn't a good thing, as we know. The Premier League trophy is here, which is slightly strange. Uh, a bit odd that it would be at Grimsby. Um, but it's a very nice, classic football league ground, rising out of the houses. It is quite cold and windy here, because we're right on the uh, coast. We're right on the North Sea. Um, so it could get a bit chilly as the game goes on. Um, but hoping for a big result today. The main drawback is, as I talk to you now, the teams have just come out and there is no Louis Reed, which is a bit of a surprise. We weren't really expecting him to be absent from today's squad, but he is. Johnny Williams is not in the squad, but we knew that already because he's on international duty with Wales. Um, so two of our best players and definitely best performing players this season are not available today, which is definitely going to hurt our chances of winning. Um, I think Grimsby have been a pretty solid team so far. Um, they've not conceded too many goals and Swindon have at times, by which I mean all, always all season. Struggled to score goals. So I don't see a lot of goals in this one either. Um, I'm going to predict... Uh, a one-all draw here. I would definitely take a draw. I think it'd be a good result against a Grimsby, sp Grimsby side that are quite difficult to beat this year. All right, I'm here at Grimsby with the two old duffers, the collaboration that you didn't ask for, but you got. So here we are. Guys, welcome to Grimsby. Are you guys liking the stadium? Beautiful, isn't it? It's lovely. Artistic is the word I'd use. Oh, yeah? And what would you reckon? Uh, not artistic. It's, it's <laughs> awful. <laughs> what, are, what are we thinking of the Swindon score today? What do you reckon, a win? Uh, it's going to be tight today because they say no Reedy, no Williams. I'm going to go for two. I'm going to hold with 2-1 to town. Are you still confident yeah. for the town win? Oh, yes. um, are we just as confident over here? Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> we, we definitely want to win. But I think if we go away with a one-all draw, I'll be well happy with that. Yeah, just keep the run of unbeaten going. Absolutely, it would take a draw. All right, can we get an up the swin? Let's just win. Go on, you heads. Go on, you heads. Let's go. Maybe Jeff caught it all came from a corner. They didn't deal with it well, Grimsby. We went back in, shot was saved and tucked into an empty net. Brilliant start.
so Groom has really got an equaliser, probably against the runner play. Swindon have been excellent so far, some really good football, really up for it. They've got the fans on their side, a lot of noise in the Swindon away end. And now Grimsby just do one attack, few deflections, few ricochets, just falls to the wrong man from a Swindon point of view, who tucks it past the helpless Sol Brin. Um, it's disappointing, but Swindon is still playing great, and I think we can get it done. Come on, the boys. I was gearing up to be saying it going into the half-time period that Grimsby looked the better team. They were creating chances, but Ronan Darcy has just made it 2-1. It's definitely Darcy this time. And I would say probably Swindon's goal was against the runner play. This has been a fantastic game between two teams really going for it. Fantastic atmosphere in both sets of fans. And in the game that I said there would probably not be any goals in, there were tons of goals. Go figure. Up the swing, let's go. So there we go, half time, Swindon Town to Grimsby 1. Swindon Town playing pretty well though, I would say, like Gladwin's been very good, Hutton on the right back position, Jake Wakeling is playing right wing today, out of position, he's been fantastic, running at the defence every opportunity. I would say though that Khan has struggled in the defensive, kind of deeper midfield role that Louis Reed has vacated today. Um, and that looks dangerous for us with Grimsby running from deep in midfield so hopefully we can kind of control that in the second half but other than that fantastic game at Gladwin ping in the passes more of that in the second half please up the swing let's go We're down to 10. There's another red card in another one of these vlogs. How is there always a red card when I do one of these vlogs? So that makes our challenge a lot more difficult. 10 players on the pitch, still winning though. Up the swing. performance in goal by Sol Brin at the moment and the whole of the Swindon Town defence. Looks like we might just be able to hang on. Seven minutes out on time. Swindon is still winning 2-1. Can we see it out? Can we hold on? Where's the whistle there? Where's the whistle? Oh, it's free kicks fucking... Just begging for that whistle. It's a big, big three points. What a game. What an away day performance. Cheerio, the Goomsby fans. Come on. Super Scotty Lindsay. Come on, what an amazing victory for Swindon Town today. So pleasing to hold on to the three points. 
Bryn with those fantastic saves late in the day. Hutton was fantastic. The whole defence, the whole team, it was a team of man of the matches today. We have a side that fights for the badge on the shirt. We have a manager who loves the town. An absolute fantastic performance in the first half. Second half was all about the grit, the resilience, seeing out a win with 10 players it wasn't a great day for Saidu Khan, who didn't have a great first half and then was sent off for two, two bookings in the second half. But it didn't matter. It's not a game to focus on the negatives because there are too many positives. Gladwin, outstanding again today. Winning without Louis Reed is a very significant achievement as well. A first goal for Luke Jeffcott, first of many, I'm sure. And call, call them what they were out there. Those guys were heroes. Those guys were absolute warriors. And if you are a team that's going to be doing anything, you need to be seeing games out and winning difficult situations like we did today. Credit to Grimsby, to be fair. I thought they were definitely worthy of a point today and they just lacked the clinical finishing. I think one of their main strikers was out for the game. I really enjoyed the trip up to Grimsby. It's a nice stadium. The people are all really nice up there. Speaking to a few before and after the game very gracious. I think they'll be fine. They they played some great football today. Um, Paul Hurst is the top manager. They got some decent players. Um, Hunt in the middle as well. I was very impressed with him coming up through the middle of the park. Um, and yeah, fair play to Grimsby. I'm going to need you guys to smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, because the Swin got the win and the Reds are going up. Let's go!